In this video, we're going to be creating the table that we're going to be using for our server data. So to do that, we open up our MySQL Workbench, go to our server, and it'll be asked for a root, or the password to our root. So go ahead and enter that in. Then if we head over here, we see Administration and Schemas. We click Schemas, right-click, Create Schema, and give it a name. This one's going to be, let's call it World at War. Uh, yeah, we'll just do Data. But let's get rid of the capitals. Right, then press Apply, and press Apply again, and finish. Now we have this new schema here. Get the drop down box, go to tables, right click, create a table. Now, here's where we can kind of create some different things. So, for example, look back in Postman, we have also we had it in a different order. Let me open up the project. And if we look back in the model that we created, we have server ID, IP, server name, blah, 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 and so on. So that's essentially what we're going to be creating. So if we just kind of click anywhere, we have a column name. You can also just double click. This one's going to be server ID. It's going to be an integer. And just give it a default of zero. Then we have another one. Just double click. This one is going to be IP address. It's going to be a varchar, but that is for characters. Then you can specify the size of it. So we don't really need anything too big. I think we're always going to be using IPv4 for this. So let's see. Let's just drop it down to 15 characters. And the default is going to be 127.0.0.1. We have another one. So server name. Again, I'm going to limit this to 25 characters. And then we have map name. This one's going to be very short. So again, just 25 characters. And I'm going to specify defaults for all these. So server name is server name. Map name is map name. I'm going to change it to default. Then after map name, we have current players. So current players, the type is an integer. Give it a default of zero. And then we have max players. Again, it's an integer. And so another thing about why am I giving these default values? I've got to fill them out anyways. So we have all of our things that we need in the table set up. So now we can click Apply and Apply again and Finish. So now we have our table. Let's give it a name. Call it Server Data and Apply. So we have our new table that holds all the information that we need. So whenever we go to like a host creates a server, goes to the web API via a post request. The post request then adds it to the database by filling out the info for this table. And then it gets stored in the database so it can be retrieved later by clients searching for servers. So now that we have our table set up, we can move on to the next step and create a procedure. So I'll see you in the next one.